Karma, 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 karma chameleon. Welcome back to my channel and before you say it, yes, I am very aware that it is still summer and not winter or fall. But I promise that all of this is for a reason, <laughs> other than this is like my favorite way to dress. Today we are continuing my little series on my channel where I tell you guys about all of my different medical conditions and today we are talking about my condition that is actually more rare than my bone disease, which is really crazy. <clears throat> the condition that I'm going to be talking about today is my circulation disorder that is called acrocyanosis. It's a lot shorter than osteogenesis imperfecta. <sighs> acrocyanosis is a trying to angle everything perfectly. So, acrocyanosis is so rare that they, I couldn't even find an estimated amount of people that have been diagnosed with it. It is that rare. But I did do as much research as I could on it because, like I said, it's really, 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 really rare. Not a lot of people understand it. Like. There's not even a, an awareness ribbon for it. Oh, which brings me to one of the reasons all of this is happening. So this is blue, this is blue. My eyeshadow is purple and blue, although you can't really see it. And all of that is because of the symptoms, the main symptom of acrocyanosis. So because it doesn't have an awareness ribbon, I did the colors that go along with my the disorder. I will get into that in a minute. So acrocyanosis is basically a circulation disorder that affects the arteries that supply the blood to the skin of the hands and the feet. I have it mainly in my feet. So what that means is my feet turn blue and purple uh, quite often. My feet, so that's why the blue and purple is a thing. They, um, turn like a like a splotchy bluish purple color and then my pinky toes get almost black which is one of which is why I started out the intro with the karma chameleon song because I call it the chameleon disorder because chameleons change color and my feet change color so I'm a chameleon my hands do it too but not super bad you can't really see it oh speaking of hands I broke my finger this one and I broke my toe Sunday Anyway, so wearing flip-flops in the summer is so much fun because people are like, oh my god, are your feet going to fall off? I'm like, no, they're not going to fall off. Stop staring at them. So no, I don't walk around with consistently blue feet. My feet are normal color. Boom, they're normal right now. But they are constantly cold. Now when I say that, they're not cold to me. Hence the, 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 the cold gear. <laughs> Um, they're cold to the touch. To me, they feel normal. That being said, because they are cold all the time, when they're anywhere in the range of normal temperature, they feel like they are on fire. Like, I, like so bad that they hurt. And they turn like bright red, so it's like my feet know that that's not normal for them. But, yeah. Um, but like I said, my feet are not blue 24-7. They just are... A lot of the time so when I'm walking they're kind of blue if my feet dangle they're kind of blue all acrocyanosis really means is that there's really bad circulation to my feet like really bad enough for it to be classified as a disorder um so there are two 
types of acrocyanosis. I have the least common one. Go figure, I think. Um, I think I have the least common, I'm actually not sure. But people with acrocyanosis, wait, hold on, sorry, let me back up. People with neurological deformities or defects, my key RM malformation classifies as that, are more likely to have acrocyanosis. So unlike a lot of my disorders, acrocyanosis actually pretty directly relates to a pre-existing medical condition that I already have, that being my brain malformation. Also, people with ac people that have a that have had or have a low BMI, so body mass index, um, are more prone to have acrocyanosis. Now, I know I'm not really small, skinny right now, but I used to be. I've always, with the exception of recently, been really, really skinny and really small. So, my entire life, practically, other than like the recent two or three years. My BMI has been critically low. I have been so, so small. So that could be another fa um, factor into me developing acrocyanosis. Um, like I said, it is extremely rare. Like, extremely, extremely rare. <clears throat> um, there are two types of acrocyanosis. Like I said, there's primary acro, and that's just acrocyanosis by itself and then there's secondary acro which is acrocyanosis with other medical conditions obviously I fall under that one because I have a ton of other medical conditions and I'm pretty sure that's the one that's the more rare of the two but I'm not positive I actually don't remember so um, this is my this was the fourth medical condition that I was diagnosed with I was OI scoliosis Chiari then acro um, when I was diagnosed with acrocyanosis, I don't quite remember how old I was. I was in middle school, I do know that. And it was just because, like, my entire life, my feet have always felt cold to other people. They've always, like, kind of turned colors. And my mom was like, you know, I think she just has bad circulation. But it got kind of worse in middle school, which was around the time that I was really, 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 really underweight. And around the time that my brain malformation started acting up acting up more so that we noticed it and got diagnosed with it. But um, we went to my, my primary care doctor, I guess at the time, which he's not a primary care doctor, he was my, my ortho doctor, um, who actually we originally saw him before I was diagnosed with my OI when I was five because I have flat feet so my feet literally are flat. There's no arch. I have duck feet. Um, I don't really count that as a condition because there's, I guess it's not really common, but it's not super rare. I don't know. I don't count it as a condition because it doesn't really like affect, only really does affect me. Anyway, that's originally why we saw him. So whenever we were like, Hey, um, it was like, we went in to see him because I had an appointment, just a normal like bone appointment. And we went in to see him and we were like, hey, actually, could we talk to you about my feet? And we explained everything to him. And he was like, yeah, let me refer you to one of my friends who's another doctor at Children's who is a cardiovascular doctor. Oh no, he wasn't at Children's. Um, he was in the main hospital. So I come in to see him. I am the youngest person there. And we walk in, this doctor literally looks like uh, Doc from Back to the Future. Like, oh my gosh, it was so crazy. His name was Dr. Whitset. He was really funny. Um, but we went in there and he rubbed this weird, like, yellow, lotion-y, thick stuff on my, on my, like, from, like, hold on, from, like, here down. And it was supposed to do something to my veins or to my arteries or it was it was basically how I got diagnosed with acro. And of course he was like, yep, you've got acrocyanosis. And I was like, what is that? And my mom was like, what is that? Another one to add to the list. So that's how I was diagnosed with acro. It is definitely the one of my medical conditions that actually doesn't. Did you hear that? That was my elbow. Ah, that actually doesn't cause me pain per se like I have like pins and needle feeling sometimes but 
and they like I said whenever they're normal temperature they feel like they're burning so they I mean that kind of hurts but compared to all of my other conditions acro is nothing um so yeah that's that's pretty much it that's ac oh wait I have a funny story so um I don't like to wear flip-flops a lot because I think my feet look weird because they are flat they just I don't know I have really long and like narrow feet and I have bunions from dancing and my toes that I've broken are all crooked so to me my feet just look really weird and like the sides of my feet are like bowed outwards because I've broken it so many times um, and you know they turn colors so there's that um, I used to be really 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 bothered about it because they looked they look like they belong on a corpse they look, like they look like dead people feet um, now I think it's kind of cool and kind of funny to watch people go <laughs> Because that's the kind of person I am. But um, I think it was my senior year of high school. One of my absolute favorite teachers is was my world history teacher. He was super, super funny. Um, and I sat in the very front row, like the front, the front of the row in the classroom. And he was like a lecture style teacher. And I had wore flip flops that day because it was Oklahoma. It's hot. Um, and he was lecturing, just like, because he walks by when he lectures, and I'm sitting, like, right here. He's walking by, and he happens to look down, and I sit, like, like with my feet, like, out, kind of. So I'm sitting there. He looks down. He sees my feet. My feet are purple. And his face literally is like, and I was like, like, I, like, did this to my feet, like, tucked them under my desk, and I was like, like, stop looking, please. Because he, like, stopped mid-sentence. And everyone was kind of looking, and I was like, 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 please stop. Please stop looking at my feet. And he was, he like kind of leaned down and whis whispered. He was like, are your feet okay? I was like, yeah, yeah, they're okay. He's like, are, are, are they going to fall off? I was like, no, they're, they're not going to fall off. C continue, please, please continue. <laughs> but that was, that was, uh, that's a pretty, that was like the funny story, I guess that I've had um, while having acro and also it's just it's funny because like I'll stick my feet on like my roommate or someone like to wake them up to wake her up and because they're so cold she's like ah and I'm like get up but uh yeah so that's my circulation disorder disorder um if you haven't checked out the rest of the videos in this series they're all in a playlist on my channel called my medical conditions I believe um, the one previous, the one before this one, I believe was my brain malformation. And then the one after this one is going to be my vitamin deficiency. Now I'm going to explain in that video why that qualifies as a medical condition. But, um, that's it for acrocyanosis. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you like this video. Comment down below if you have any questions or whatever. You know, you, whatever you want to see me do next. Whatever. I, I, take, I take suggestions. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see what all kinds of the other stuff that I do. And if you never want to miss a video, hit that bell notification so you know every time I post. Which, I mean, that's kind of what the subscribe button's supposed to do. But it doesn't really do that. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like the other videos, at the end of this video, I'm going to post a picture of my feet at their peak of acro. Like, yeah. Uh, thank you guys. Bye.